So this is what a lot of shoot style Deku's online do. And then I'll show what you actually should be doing. So this is the regular combo. They do something like this. And they might even dash cancel again if they want, but I'll leave it like that, because that's already one dash cancel. It's going to be even more damage. And I believe I can do even more damage if I let some more hits of this hit. Oh no, that might miss. Oh no, there we go. 10,800 damage for a single dash cancel. 10 or 11,000 damage combo for free. I'll just cancel with this early. Wow, that was 10,000 damage for zero dash cancels. That's fair. I love that. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Let me try that again. It's 12,300 damage for a single dash cancel combo, guys, at the end. So, a lot of the time, you can just end them in the normal combo route. And just do something like this. And then you're getting 11,400 damage. Which is crazy! And it's even, like, possibly easier than the other combos that I see a lot of Deku's doing online. Dash cancel per combo. If you're doing a lot of combos, if you, like, have a lot of meter, you realize. You can just, you have, you'll, oh, you're most likely gonna have your plus ultra too, quite often. Which means, if you get a touch and you realize your opponent nearly has their support back or something, you can just, um, cancel any attack into this, and then you're going to <clears throat> get a big chunk of damage that they can't interrupt. So if they're like, oh no, I've got to make sure I have my supports for when he does his huge combos, just do your plus ultra too, and you're going to get like 20,000 damage, and they can't interrupt it. <laughs> There we go. 11,200 damage for a single dash cancel. That's pretty fair if you ask me. And the same thing also applies off of this type of combo. Oops. Twelve thousand two hundred damage for a single death.